Howdy folks, it is Sunday night and we're out here doing some Uber Eats. And I will tell you that Sundays are my best days. Oh, I just got an order, hold on. That was a shitty order. So I declined it. Uh, so. Oh, I got another order. That was another shitty order. So I declined it. Now listen, if you drive for uh, DoorDash, Uber Eats, you know the struggle. Um, but if you are a, a customer, if you order from any of those and you don't tip, you probably won't get your food fast because I can see how much you tip before I pick it up. And Uber only pays me like $2. It's like being a waiter. You get paid like a, a little bit of like a flat fee and then most of your money comes from the tips. So if I see there's no tip, I ain't delivering your goddamn food for $2. That's 30 minutes of my time for $2. Uh, that ain't That one was shitty too. So I look at the mileage, and if, say, it's two miles away, I want the pay to at least be $4. You gotta double your mileage because you gotta think about your gas too. And I will say the worst uh, deliveries are apartment buildings. They are a pain in the ass. Because I can never fucking see the number on the building. For some reason, only a select few apartment buildings will light up what number it is. I can't imagine being uh, the 911 people's emergency services pulling up. Like, what? what the hell number is this? Y'all better light up your your numbers on your doors, too, um, and your houses. Uh, it helps a lot. And if you're ordering, if you're expecting an order, come on, flip flip your, your goddamn porch light on. I'd say 80% that I deliver to do not have a porch light on. And do you know how sketchy that is strolling up? I'm like, I can't see the number, so let me just stroll up to this random house and flash my, my flashlight in the windows and try to see if I can see the number. So turn your lights on for us, please. But in general, it's been it's been an enjoyable. It's been a fun time. Sometimes it's really frustrating, like if a restaurant takes forever. Now see, I keep getting these uh, delivery requests for McDonald's. They are taking a goddamn... They're taking a long-ass time. So I'm declining all McDonald's and all Whataburger because those hoes are popular. But I don't want to be sitting in the store for 30 minutes waiting on your food. You know what I'm saying? So there's a little... There's some restaurants that I frequent that I can trust to get the food out quick so I can make the most out of my gas tank. But um, I average about $20 an hour, um, not including gas. So it's not a bad gig. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend it for somebody who has a truck like me. I, I, I got about the stupidest vehicle for this. But I really am strapped for cash. And if you are strapped for cash and you live near College Town, shoo, you could make at least $5 an hour. I will say. And some people do uh, ride their bikes. They don't have cars, so they use their bike. Um, but I'll take you along to my journey. I'll try to film all I can um, to show you what it's like being an Uber Eats driver. And, uh, you know, the weekends are always the best. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, the weekdays kind of suck. I only drive at night. So I haven't really tried the lunch hour before. Um, and I will say I, I, I like in, in smaller cities. I don't like huge cities because that's just a lot of traffic and bullshit you got to drive through. Um, but yeah, I'll take you along. Let's show you what orders we got. Oh, yesterday... I got the most interesting order. I got a shop and pay. So basically you go into the store and you shop and you pay. 
with the Uber credit card and uh, then you deliver it to their doorstep. So I got this huge order of candy. At, I had to go to Walgreens. I had to pick up all this candy. And then all of a sudden I see a pack of condoms on the list. So I'm like, okay, somebody's having a party tonight. Uh, but they legit got like six things of gummy worms. They were like the big bags of gummy worms and whatnot. And a big soda, two liter soda, and just condoms. I'm like, who are these teenagers? I'm helping prevent teen pregnancy over here. So, uh, yeah, that was my most interesting delivery, I'll, I'll have to say. So come on to my journey, and I will show you the wonders of delivering food. All right, folks, I got me my little bin here, and I just picked up some wings. We're going to make about six bucks on this. All right, so I'm in the line at McDonald's now, and I'm kind of pissed off because I had a good order for $15, and I went to the place, and they were like, oh, somebody else already picked it up. Sometimes that'll happen, and it's the worst. But I recouped, and I had another $16 order from a pizza place, and now I'm at McDonald's. And it's 11 o'clock at night, and the line is pretty long. So we'll see how long this takes. But all in all, I've made $69 in three and a half hours. So that's pretty good. That's about $20 an hour. So, you know, if you can deal with all the bullshit, you can uh, make $20 an hour on a good Sunday, on a good weekend. Uh, as for the other weekdays, eh, Maybe $16 an hour. It depends on your area, really, but that's how it be. And uh, the most I've ever made on a Sunday is when college just got back into, into class or whatever. And uh, I made $30 an hour that Sunday. And that was a lot of fun. I miss that Sunday. I wish I had more of those Sundays, but... Now that these kids are back in college, they only tip a dollar, and I gotta reject them. But if if you if enough drivers reject the order, Uber will up the price. They'll put in a little bit more money, so the order gets fulfilled, and they don't look bad, I guess. So if enough drivers keep rejecting it, I've I've gotten an order for thirty dollars one time because everybody was like, "Fuck this," you know. I'm not doing this for two dollars so then I snagged it up for thirty dollars and that was that was good I, and I'll but I will say sometimes if you pick up an order that's like that's been bumped up to like thirty dollars you'll get there and the restaurant will say oh uh there somebody already picked it up or something like that and that's when it's frustrating because you get all pumped you're like oh i'm gonna make 30 dollars on this order in 15 minutes and then you know they don't uh have it one time at taco cabana they were like oh sorry somebody picked up that order or something something's wrong with that order we can't give it to you and i looked at the order and it was like four tacos and I was like, I'm just going to order those four tacos then. Pay for the tacos. It was like $10. And I completed the delivery. And I got $30. So I made 20 bucks on that order. So sometimes you got to game the system. I mean, you know, if Uber's going to waste my time and make me drive all the way out there... And then the order's not there. I don't get any compensation if I have to cancel it because somebody already picked it up. So I just went ahead and went around the system, delivered it, 
hey, you know, maybe those people have already got their tacos, but I gave them some more tacos because I wanted that, <laughs> I wanted that $30. So hopefully Uber can fix their shit uh, when stuff like that happens. I'm sure it's just a glitch, but you know, you gotta, you gotta get paid. All right, folks, my night has come to an end. I made $85 in four and a half hours. It comes to about $18 an hour, and I'm happy with that. I decided to stop a little early. I usually, my goal is usually $100 a night, but uh, I decided I need to start going to bed a little bit earlier. So, um, yeah, pretty good run for, for, you know, four and a half hours of work. And uh, I'm, I'm going to try to get on it. I got some more bills to pay. So I'm going to try to keep doing it this week. But I'll see you next time. Let me know if you'd like to see more Uber adventures. Bye-bye.